action. Okay, last night, uh, March 15th, Sunday night about 10.42 p.m., we received a, a 911 call in reference to a possible disorderly person. Uh, moments later, seconds later, it changed from that to a, a not are in progress, which means burglary in progress. Uh, the address was 1941 Zachary Road. Uh, it was a Christopher Lance Joyner. Uh, we dealt with Mr. Joyner during the week, uh, tried locating him, was unable to locate him. Uh, just to give you a brief history on some of the events that we think may have led up, we're still, le we're still looking into it. Uh, February, around February 19th, uh, there was an ex parte taken out by the, the wife. On uh, March 6th, the protection order was signed. March 10th, he was served. March 13th, there was a bond revocation on him, which means he, they were going to off-bind him. We have had contact by phone. He was going to turn himself in. He didn't. Uh, we looked for him all weekend. We were unable to locate him. And as I said, last night at 1042, he, uh, the call came in. At uh, 1046, deputies were on the scene within four minutes. And the house was still locked and secured. He made entry through a window. We had to use a force entry through the door. And once we made it in, well, deputies then had to search the house. Uh, anytime you get in a, a possible uh, 18, we call it a shooting, you can't just barge in. But anyway, our, our deputies searched through the house, located the back be bedroom, and at that point, had to, uh, the bedroom had been forced in and kicked in by the suspect. And at that point, we found uh, three bodies that's been shot. Can you talk about the woman? Yeah, we had um, <clears throat> Mary Alice Joyner, age 43, was the, the wife. Uh, she was shot and killed. They had some friends over. Jeffrey Britt Swisser, 33 years of age. His mother, Alice Carol Swisser, 74 years of age. She was transported to the hospital. Uh, she's in guarded at this time. And then, of course, Christopher Lance Joyner, uh, 45 years of age, was deceased on the scene. 